Citrix ST WAN integration with Gscaler Secure Web Gateway. Here is the topology that we will be using in today's demonstration, which includes a data center and a branch appliance. Both of them are managed through Citrix ST WAN orchestrator. Traditionally, internet traffic from the branch offices will be backhauled towards the data center for security scanning and the internet will be served from there. This will introduce latency and hence will have bad user experience. Now, with this integration between Citrix ST WAN and Gscaler Secure Web Gateway, we will be able to perform direct internet breakout on the branch appliances without compromise on any security. This will also provide better user experience as there is no latency introduced when compared to traditional internet backhaul towards the data center. With this integration, the branch appliance will be establishing IPsec tunnel towards Gscaler cloud and the internet traffic will be forwarded through the tunnel towards the Gscaler cloud and from there the internet will be served. Let's go through the demonstration and here are the demo steps that I'll be demonstrating as part of this uh, demo. First, we'll be configuring Gscaler delivery service on orchestrator and we'll be adding a route on this particular branch site in order to route all the internet traffic through Gscaler delivery service. We will try validating IPsec tunnel establishment from the branch device towards the Gscaler cloud and we'll configure filter policies on Gscaler to block some of the categories and try to send traffic and check if the firewall policies or Gscaler filter policies are applied as per the policy definition and the traffic is being redirected from the branch office towards the secure web gateway. Here is the orchestrator dashboard where I have two sites, one in US and the branch site is in London. And as we can see, we have a virtual path up and running between these two sites. We need to configure a delivery service, which is Gscaler delivery service. To configure that, we need to go to delivery services, service and bandwidth allocations. Here, we need to click on add service and we'll be able to add Gscaler service. This service addition is a very simple where we need to provide the user credentials to log into the Gscaler cloud and we need to provide the Gscaler cloud name and API key. This API key is uh, vendor specific and we'll be able to generate this key while uh, we log into Gscaler portal. This configuration is that simple. Just by providing this information, we will be able to establish IPsec tunnel towards Gscaler cloud by allocating the bandwidth over here. This setting is global, which means if you are allocating specific percentage over here for Gscaler service, all the, all the sites with internet WAN links will be configured with Gscaler service and the those sites will be establishing IPsec tunnel towards the Gscaler cloud. If we don't want to enable this globally across all the sites, we can just define Gscaler delivery service and we can go to the specific site and configure this delivery service by going to the WAN link configuration and click on this and we'll be able to select the service type as link specific and we can add Gscaler delivery service here. Once after selecting Gscaler service, we'll be able to allocate the bandwidth that we wanted to allocate for this Gscaler delivery service and click on done and we'll be able to configure site specific uh, bandwidth allocation so that only this particular site will be able to establish IPsec tunnel towards Gscaler cloud. And at the global level, we can set that configuration of bandwidth to zero so that that will not be uh, taken into effect. Once after configuring delivery service, now we need to configure a route, default route in order to redirect all internet traffic towards Gscaler with the service type as Gscaler. For that, we need to go to configuration 
routing routing policies and click on ip routes and here uh, for this demo i have added a default route with the service type as gscaler we can select the delivery service as gscaler so that this delivery service will be chosen in order to redirect the traffic that is uh, falling into this subnet as we can see here we can define this route either globally or site specific now i have configured this route on branch 2 which is the branch appliance which, which is site specific default route with the delivery service as gscaler which means the traffic which is falling into this uh, destination network by default the internet traffic will be using gscaler service at branch appliance so with this route definition we are saying that any internet traffic should be going through gscaler delivery service and it will be using the ipsec tunnel that we have established towards the gscaler cloud that's about the configuration once after configuring delivery service and routing information then we can just go ahead and deploy the configuration uh, deploy and activate the configuration after activating the configuration we can go to reports real time statistics in order to check the tunnel establishment from the branch side towards the gscaler we can go to real time uh, statistics and select ipsec tunnels and select the branch on which we wanted to retrieve the tunnel status and click on retrieve latest data so that we'll get the stats from that branch appliance on the orchestrator so here we can see that the gscaler ipsec tunnel with the service type as intranet is showing uh, shown as good over here here we can see that we have two tunnels that got established towards gscaler from the branch appliance so what does these two tunnels mean by default gscaler will be providing two tunnel uh, peer ip addresses so we will be establishing two tunnels from the branch appliance this is for the purpose of redundancy as long as the first tunnel is up and running we will be able to send the traffic using the first uh, tunnel towards the gscaler if this tunnel for any reason if it goes down we will be using the next available tunnel in order to redirect the traffic towards the gscaler cloud as we can see here the traffic the packet sent received and the kbps information can be seen uh, over here which means the traffic the internet traffic that we are redirecting towards the gscaler cloud can be monitored in this stats related to the ipsec tunnel now let's check the filter policy definition on gscaler portal each enterprise can have their own uh, security policies defined as per their uh, security requirements for this demo i have the uh, filter policies as can be seen over here there are different uh, filter policies uh, defined where we can see the first one is like a job and employment search the other one is the adult categories and uh, and also we can see that other entertainment uh, entertainment stuff has been blocked and we can also see that the finance news news and media is also blocked as one of the category over here so now let's let's try to access some of these sites and try to see how it's been redirected from citrix st1 branch appliance through the ip signal towards gscaler cloud and how it's been reported on both orchestrator st1 orchestrator as well as gscaler cloud portal now let's try to log into the uh, windows host machine which is sitting behind the branch uh, citrix st1 branch appliance and try to access some of the uh, websites and try to see how the traffic is being forwarded i'm trying to access salesforce.com it's it's not falling into any of the blocked categories and we are able to access salesforce uh, application i'll try to access some of the social networking uh, categories as well which is not blocked by the way i'm trying to access facebook.com and we'll be able to access this facebook and also i'll try to access uh, linkedin so i'm i'm able to access all all these sites 
because it's not part of any of the blocked category uh, or the blocked uh, filter policies on Gscaler portal. And now I'll try to access bbc.com. So this bbc.com, it's falling into the blocked category, which is news and media, which is one of the blocked category on Gscaler portal. So that's been blocked as per the filter policy definition on Gscaler. So here we can see that the block message is displayed appropriately. So now let's try to uh, check the firewall connections on st -WAN appliance and see how the traffic is being uh, routed. So for that, we'll be going into uh, st -WAN orchestrator reports and we can check the real time reports by clicking on real time. We can get the filter uh, firewall connections. We, for that, we need to click on firewall connections and select the branch appliance and retrieve latest data. Here we can see the applications that we have tried accessing. Let's let's filter uh, by the name. Here I have accessed LinkedIn, which is uh, going through the service type as intranet. And here the destination service name is Gscaler, which means the traffic is going through the IPsec tunnel using the service type as Gscaler. So we can confirm that the traffic that we are trying to access from the client machine which is sitting behind the branch is going through the IPsec tunnel towards the secure web gateway. And we can also check the other applications, salesforce.com which we have access. This is also again going through the destination service as Gscaler. So the traffic that we are, internet traffic that we are trying to access from the client machine which is sitting behind the branch appliance is going through the Gscaler delivery service which is the IPsec tunnel towards the Gscaler POP. Now let's try to check this on Gscaler uh, portal dashboard. Here we can see that the applications that we have tried accessing like uh, Facebook, Twitter, like it was accessed earlier, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook, these are the applications that we have accessed and it's been reported on Gscaler uh, dashboard as well. So that's about the demonstration related to Citrix SD-WAN integration with Gscaler Secure Web Gateway.